What's up, YouTube? We're on our way to the Iowa State versus Arizona State duel. It's the first top five matchup since 2009. I got my wife with me. Hi. And we're gonna go check out this awesome duel meet. I can't freaking wait! All right, we stopped to get gas. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a dual breakdown before we get there, which by now you guys have already seen the results, so it doesn't really matter. But I just wanna have my predictions on camera for this vlog. At 125, it's gonna be Brandon Courtney most likely versus Connor Nopic or maybe Caleb Fusley. I think Corey Caban Ban and Kyson Terrakina are both hurt. Terrakina out for the rest of the year. Caban Ban, I believe six weeks is what I heard. We also have Ethan Perryman who could be in the mix which would be interesting, true freshman, kind of undersized right now at 125, but probably the future of 125 for this program, at least as we stand. At 33, we have Ramazan, Ramazan or Zach Redding. Ramazan went last night versus Wyoming. I would not be shocked to see Zach Redding today as he placed farther ahead than Ramazan did at 133 at the Southern Scuffle. 41, we got Casey Swiderski. He looked good against Wyoming. Not saying much as it wasn't the toughest opponent for Casey, but it was good to see him get down to weight and do well. At 149, we have Pinero Johnson versus Kyle Parko. That is probably the key matchup. That's the one I'm most looking forward to. 157, we have Jason Kreiser versus Max Wilner. It should be Wilner, I believe. This would be a good opportunity for Kreiser to get some bonus points for us and to show out in front of Hilton at 165. David Carr, next question. 174, we have Broderson versus Kale Valencia. Broderson coming off a big pin against Wyoming. Hastings is a solid opponent, and he pinned him in the first period. 84, Marcus Coleman has the chance to right a wrong in beating Anthony Montalvo. Montalvo is somebody who has beaten Marcus Coleman twice before in the past, but it is hard to beat somebody three times in college wrestling, so I'm gonna roll with it. Marcus Coleman. At 97, we have Younger Bastida versus Norfleet, maybe. Norfleet's been in and out of the picture. Regardless, Norfleet hasn't had the best year so far, so give me Younger all day and twice on Sunday. And heavyweight, we have Colton Schultz versus Sam Schuyler. This is a great opportunity for Sam Schuyler to capitalize on Colton Schultz, rocky start to the year. Will we see him knock off the guy that I think is gonna win 285 pounds this year? I don't know. Let's see how good he looks coming off the bicep injury that he occurred while he was down in New Orleans at the Collegiate Duels. Just hope my wife gets here in time so we can get there before 125 starts. What'd you get? Uh, I get the bands, count the blue cheese, I do that for fun, for every meal. Why do I why I'm dumb? I had your girl, she on my crib. Let's go! It's been a while since I've seen this many people! I was more trash, need a gas mask, that smell like scum. 16, honey, got a couple ops in the city, and they all go hard.
State. Of Arizona State. Thoughts about the duel. ISU is pretty good. The guys that they threw out there that were backups were at weights that we are favored at anyway. So that was pretty much a full lineup from both teams, except for Iowa State at 25. Swiderski and Panero losing was a bummer way to end the duel. Would have been two good wins for those guys. Panero looked great. Casey looked a little banged up or maybe a weight cut thing. I don't know. I'm excited to go see Dresser's press conference afterwards to see what he has to say about 41 um, 49 Panero got a lot of takedowns but didn't get it when it mattered Younger looked great got put on his back battled adversity looked like he's in great shape Sam Schuyler close match Coleman finally beat Montalvo looked great 74 Broderson looked great 65 got bonus points that was good to see from Carr 33 mismatch 
yeah kind of uh bittersweet went to a lot of duels watch these guys get watched not these guys watched iowa state in general lose to a lot of really bad teams and we just beat the number four ranked team in the country in arizona state and here i am a little sour over the panero and casey losses but guess what it's guess that's what's gonna be now when you're a good team you just the bar keeps getting higher I get the bands, count the blue cheese, I do that for fun.